Hello and welcome to another uh, online tutorial. This one is uh, one of the uh, frequently asked questions. What's the way to enter a direct receipt? So normally um, you would go through invoices uh, and then add an invoice and then apply the receipt via an invoice. This is great if you want to track all the unpaid invoices but what happened if you just want to uh, enter the receipt directly? Well, to do that, it's pretty straightforward. What you want to go to do is go to um, banking and then go to bank transactions. And then the bank transactions, like your bank here, all you have to do is um, you can increase the money, which is at receipt, or decrease the money, which is at payment. So in this case, we just want to enter the receipt directly. So click on add receipt. And then here I'll just select the bank and here it should look exactly the same as the invoice entry form. I'll just uh, quickly add the information. Okay, and then I'll click create. It's exactly the same thing as the receipt. So if you wanna have a look here, go back to transactions, you can see that receipt number three is a direct receipt. And you can tell the difference between this one and the invoice one is, let me show you, if I go to invoices and then I'll add a receipt here. Let's say I'll add like $11 so we can notice the difference. Uh, then go to bank transactions and then you can see here the direct receipt and the receipt from an invoice, which applies to invoice number four here. Anyway, I hope that help, that is helpful for you. Uh, it's just a different way of entering the receipt. Um, both ways are fine. The, this way is a lot faster, um, but the other one is more, you know, if you have a, an invoice and you want to keep track of all the unpaid invoices. Anyway, I hope this is useful and I'll see you next time.